Bertie saves the day. We're booked on an excursion tomorrow, Bertie's driver told him as he put him in his garage one night. Bertie the boss was excited. He liked excursions. Usually, he was kept busy bringing passengers to the railway stations for Thomas and the other engines, so an excursion would make a nice change. Are they going to the seaside? he asked. No, said his driver. It's a naturalist's society. They want to go up into the hills to watch the birds and look for rare plants. So make sure you're in good form for climbing. But when Bertie awoke next morning, he didn't feel on good form for anything. Workmen tried to make him feel better, but it was no use, and his friend Algy had to go instead. Algy went to the place where the naturalists were waiting. They all carried picnic baskets and had candles and binoculars hanging round their necks. They got quickly into Algy and with a toot he set off. They had gone only a few miles when they had to wait at some traffic lights. Algy's engine stopped and wouldn't start again. His driver tried and tried but he couldn't make Algy go. The passengers didn't mind. They laughed and offered to push. At last, Algy started. They drove on with care. The driver left letting Algy's engine run slowly, and at last, they reached their first destination. The naturalists all got out, but when they came back an hour later, the driver was still trying to mend Algy. I'm sorry your day's been spoilt, he said. I've telephoned the garage, but Bertie isn't better yet. Why don't you have your picnic now? And if I haven't made Algy go by the time you finish, we'll get you home some other way. So they ate their picnic, but it was no use. Poor Algy looked so sad that the passengers simply couldn't feel cross. Never mind, they said. We'll come again when you're feeling better. Algy's driver went to the telephone, but while he was gone, they all heard a faint toot toot in the distance. They looked at each other. I know that toot, said Algy. That's Bertie, that is. Sure enough, a moment later, Bertie swung round the corner. Hop in, he called happily as he stopped beside them. You won't have a wasted day after all. And, thanks to Bertie the bus, 